So in this video, we are going to look at an example where we are going to see how the Gale Shapely al algorithm works. So the algorithm is also called as a pairing al algorithm. And what we need to do is that we have n sets of uh, like n uh, participants of set A and then we have another n participants of set B. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that each and every participant from, from this uh, is paired with each and every participant of set B based on the preference. Right? So uh, each set will give their set of preferences and then we need to match them, make sure, making sure that each and every one is matched and uh, this uh, matching is stable. Okay. So uh, this algorithm has applications in uh, computer science as well as real life as well. So like uh, the example that we are going to see now in this video is related to colleges and students where we have to match colleges with students and we have n colleges and we have n students and we have to match them. Uh, other application uh, would be distributing load to different servers or uh, your CDN, the content delivery network can uh, we can use this algorithm making sure that each and every request is going to some or the other server right something like this so this is how the algorithm has applications in computer science so in this video we'll see one application where we have to match uh, n colleges to n students so what we are going to do is we are going to check uh, how the algorithm works with this example so you have three colleges and we have three students okay let's say we have college x y and z and we have student a b and c right and so uh, the first step is the initialization initializations where uh, the college and the uh, students are going to give preferences so the student preferences and we will have the college preferences by college preferences we mean that uh, the college is expecting such kind of students and the student uh, is like i want this this college right so we have s a student one b and c and then we have college x y and z okay let me right so what we are going to do is we are going to give preferences Actually, we don't even need this. Oops. Right. So we have colleges. Now the students are going to, going to give preferences to colleges, right? So that is so student A prefers college X. College X, Y and Z. And then student B uh, prefers college Y x and z and then student c prefers college y z and x right so this is how the student wants or has the preferences of the college now we also have the colleges they expect a certain number of students to be coming to their colleges okay so we have uh, college X, Y, and Z, and we have student A, B, C, which we have to give the preferences. So, college X wants student B, A, and C, like this. Now, that's the preference between those, those three students. And then we have A, C, B, and for the third one, we can take as B, C, and A. Okay, so this is the preference that we have. Now, we need to match each and every student to each and every college based on the preferences. Okay. So let's change the color. So the first step is the, the first step is that we need to make sure that you know, the matching takes place. So if uh, in this case, if the students are preferring, so we have like proposing, let's say they are proposing whether this happens or not. So we ha we can check the student A prefers college X and X has not allotted any student right now. Right. So they assign this college and you know the student asks for college x and the college accepts uh, student a because they don't have any other option right same goes for student b student b says i want college y y says i don't have anything else so i'll just accept uh, student b now now student c says i want college y now, but 
college Y has already selected student B. But in the preference order, student C is prior or that's of higher value or higher order. So what's going to happen is to assign student C, student C wants college Y and college Y also wants student C if they don't have A. So they don't have A, but they have C, right? And they've already allotted. So this is going to go and this is the new allocation that's going to happen. Okay. So this is what happened earlier. So this is, this is going to go. Okay. Now student has, student C has college Y and college Y has student C, right? But if you see now student B doesn't have any college. So it goes to the next preference. It jumps over here. Now we have college X. When you go to college X, you can see that it has already been assigned to college to student A, but their preference is college B and even uh, student B and uh, even student B wants college X. So what's going to happen is it's going to, you know, choose the college X. It's going to uh, reject the student A and it's going to give it to student B because that's of higher preference, right? It's going to come here, right? But when that happens, the student A is going to go. Right? Now student A doesn't have any college. So it jumps over here. Now it has college Y. When it goes to college Y, it sees that it has college, it has student C already assigned, but, has, uh, but they want student A, right? So that's going to go away. And this, uh, the college, the student A is assigned college Y, right? Because that's a higher preference, right? Now, when that happens, uh, student C doesn't have any college, right? Because it's now we just uh, went to this. So it goes to student, uh, it goes to the next preference, which is, uh, which is college Z. In college Z, we can, Z, we can see that there, are, there aren't any students allotted. So it will, it is going to give uh, it, the, it, like it's going to accept the student, right? So now if you see in the end, we have A getting assigned to college Y, right? So A goes to college Y. And then we have uh, student B going to X, right? Student B going to X. And you have student C going to Z. Okay, so that's, that's how it is. So it's like B goes to X and C goes to Z. So this is the final uh, matching that we have got. This is the final matching or the pairing that has taken place based on the uh, preferences given. So this is what the uh, Gale Shapley algorithm does. Okay. So that's one example which you have done with three colleges and three students, but this can be extended to, you know, n uh, different types of things. And this can also work. Uh, another application is like, you know, online dating where they match based on the preferences of the uh, users, right? Uh, and that's how this algorithm can be used. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Thank you.